everybody. Hello, pal. Crosso e Amsa story a Giffa Kalangaya. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our story time for Halloween. And I've chosen a very Halloweeny story that will hopefully make you laugh and scare you just a little bit. And it's called Christopher Pumpkin. And it's by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. And it's published by Hatchet Children's Books. Hope you enjoy the story and I hope you're all excited for Halloween and you're all getting your pumpkins ready. <gasps> it's a spooky castle. Might be a bit scary. On Snaggletooth Lane in Spooky Spooksville was a dark, creepy castle perched high on a hill. Deep in that castle, by the glow of the fire, sat a wicked old witch with a burning desire. To throw a huge party, the scariest yet, one that her friends would never forget. There's too much to do, it'll drive me berserk. Now, who can I find that will do all the work? She looked all around. Then what did she spy? A big pile of pumpkins waiting for a pie. They could be useful and scary as well. I'll bring them to life with the help of a spell. She was making an army and having a ball. As they sprang into life, she gave names to them all. There was Gnarly and Grizzly and Grunty and Rawr. Snaggletooth, Stink Face and maybe one more. The witch raised her wand for one final go. There were sparkles and glitters. Then her voice said, Hello! I'm Christopher Pumpkin and I like all things fun. I'm so happy to be here. Group hug everyone. He stretched out his arms and he gave them a grin. And out shone the warmth and the kindness within. Oh no, screeched the witch. What on earth did I make? <gasps> You're supposed to be scary. I think I've made a mistake. Now hang on a minute, said Christopher P. I'm sure I'll fit in. Just wait and you'll see. All right, snapped the witch. And there's so much to do. But Christopher Pumpkin, I'll be watching you. You now get on with your work and make decorations. I want horrible, ghastly, frightful creations. Did someone say decor? Oh, that's right up my street. Forget about tricks and prepare for a treat. There was lifting and shifting and huffing and grunting. But while others hung cobwebs, Chris hung up bunting. Then along came the witch. Work harder, buffoons! And instead of bat lanterns, Chris chose balloons. The horrified pumpkins all scuttled away. They needed to find party music to play. <gasps> My favourite music is howling and screaming, says Gnarly the pumpkin, his scary eyes gleaming. Oh, I'm sorry, said Chris, but that sounds bizarre. Let's all have a sing-along, because I've brought my guitar. Now for the food. It was time to begin, as they stood around the cauldron, tossing things in. Oh, going glub, glub, glub. Firstly, some earwax, then hair from a yeti, a poisonous bug, and some, oh, mouldy spaghetti. The result was rat pizza. 
all sprouting with hair and a stinky green cheese made from old underwear, some hot curried slugs and fried spicy snakes. And then in walked our Chris with some nice pink fairy cakes. This just isn't working, I think you'll agree, said the witch as she glared down at Christopher P. I've had quite enough. You're not part of this group. If you can't be scary, I'll turn you to soup. Oh, you've got till the morning when I make myself clear. Poor Christopher nodded, frozen with fear. I don't want to be a soup or a pie or a flan. I'll stay up all night and I'll think of a plan. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. And there must be a way I can scare everyone. He worked through the night, never taking a break. But the clock, it was ticking. Soon the witch would awake. <gasps> the morning arrived and the pimp pumpkins all stared at Christopher's bed. He's gone, they declared. I suppose that he's better without all this. He went without fuss. There was really no chance he could ever scare us. Along came the witch. Now out of my way. My guests are arriving. The party's today. So poor Chris had vanished. Or so it seemed. When then from outside came an almighty scream. <gasps> it's horrid. It's nasty. This just isn't funny. First, please, somebody stop him. I want my mummy. There were unicorns skipping and balloons on the door, pink fluffy kittens and sparkles galore. There were marshmallow puffs piled up in mountains. Strawberry milkshake was sparkling from fountains. I'm Christopher Pumpkin and I like all things fun. But before he could finish, the witch shouted, Run! Wait, don't you like it? Chris called with delight. Well, one thing's for sure, I scared them all all right. So now you know, if you see any scary witches around, then make sure you scare them with lots of pink stuff and unicorns because they don't like it. And we'll hopefully see you all soon with some more story times and activities and hope you will all enjoy Halloween. Bye bye.